Today, we're going to increase our knowledge of coffee by going to the library. But not this one. This one. We're Jay and Jen with the, the Brew Two. We made it to the library. I know. Why have you been to the library in such a long time? What's the last time you've been to the library? Oh gosh, I, <laughs> I was much younger. Well, we don't need libraries nowadays, right? Because everything is... We can Google everything. Yeah. Who needs a library? But yeah. we do need this library. We do, but we have to remember too that cafes were the original libraries. Cafes were the original library? Well, this library is located in the city of Long Beach. We haven't been to Long Beach in several months now. And this came up time and time again in our search as one of the places to try. Yeah, and I want to say that it was actually also included in the um, top 10 quirkiest places between LA and OC coffee tasting. So, um, so it's nice to be able to make it here. And it does feel like a true library. We're very, very quiet. And like, very studious. <laughs> and I'm like, how are we going to do our show here? Because we're going to be talking. <laughs> so how do you drink a coffee when your nose is buried in a book. Okay, I think I'm gonna try the uh, turmeric actually. Do you yeah. want hot? Uh, yes, please. Hot? Yeah. Um, we can do small, medium, or large. Uh, let's do medium. We did something oh, different today. Uh, well, I'm traditional. I did the Americano, but you did something different today. Yeah, so I decided to try a turmeric latte. And why? Well, because I take every day as a health benefit. So we paired it with uh, something to eat. I got a, an everything bagel with egg and cheese, and you got a panini with turkey and cheese. Yes. So we'll enjoy a, a, a brunch. Yeah, and I'm really Beach. excited, and I'm really excited to actually try this turmeric. Um, I'm at the library today, reading Witches of Eastwick. So I'll say on the sniff test, this mm. is... This is very good. Mine is a bit fruity on the sniff test, how about yours? <laughs> it's spicy. The initial taste test. Mine is delicious, I don't know about yours. Well, for an Americano and it being an espresso-based thing it's supposed to have a little more impact and this just feels like I have to be honest it feels like coffee shop coffee it's just kind of watered down for me it doesn't seem like they have a lot of boutique um, coffee beans here which is fun I mean you don't need boutique beans everywhere you go right I mean we like to try different beans and we like and roasting uh, methods. Yeah, and we like to understand the roasting methods. But you know, this was kind of just a little bit off the beaten path uh, in terms of what we usually look for in a coffee shop. But what did attract me to this place is the um, sense of community. Um, it's been established here in Long Beach for like close to twenty years, I think. Well, it's a decade. So decades, it's... yeah. So. I'm assuming. We do a lot of really neat things here. Open mic night, they have poetry reading night. And like, musicians coming and, in and doing um, you know, a small combo kind of a thing. Yeah, and it just really feels like, a, um, it feels to it's me a local like, like a local thing. How was your panini? You know, my panini was good. I had the turkey and cheese uh, panini on white bread and it was delicious. And I thought for the two coffees and the two little sandwiches that we got, it was $23. That is not bad. Not bad for Southern California. In terms of consistency, yeah, it's been the same all the way through. It's not bitter. There's no funky aftertaste or anything like that. It's easy to drink, but it's, uh, it's more of a watery consistency with a little bit of coffee flavor, which is not what I expect in, in America. Oh, and mine was great, and I'm still enjoying it's it. It's interesting. We're surrounded by books, and everyone has their nose in a notebook computer. And we have our nose in a phone. Yeah, at the moment we do. I mean, but if you do want to come in and sit and grab a book off the shelf, have a cup of coffee, this is a nice environment. I know, and I loved poking through the Witches of Eastwick. I think it's really fun. So, let's rate the coffee. Um, okay. It's going to be a little bit different. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being best, what is the gen score? And to the point, uh, it's a solid mine for me. I, I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to, though, so let's be fair. I haven't tried a turmeric latte ever. So, so the J score on the Americano, I'm going to be as kind as I can and say it's a fine. <laughs> I'm almost spit out my coffee. I, w I wish it were better, but, you know, 
everything else, I'm digging. It's a great environment. I feel like this is a very um, inclusive and diverse area um, to be a part of community. It seems very accepting here, and I appreciate that. Okay, so a Brutu score, we have a nine, we have a five. That gives us a Brutu score, an average of a seven. But we have so many more tastings to go, um, and I'm excited with what more we can continue to taste in our travels. And well, I cannot wait till we hit Europe. We're going to be in the UK, we're going to be in Ireland, and we're going to review a whole bunch of coffee while there. Yes, we hope. We hope we have time. Well, this is Jay and Jan with The Brew 2. Uh, we're coming to you one coffee shop at a time. One cup at a time, or two, or three. Or four. Or four. But one, in this case, this is a really good coffee. I'm really happy for that. Good. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't, just click and move on. No, don't. Stay. Stay. We don't like it. Stay. They don't like it. Stairs. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.